Hello everyone, I'm here in the house where Schumann died, in the clinic, uh, in the mental hospital where he was the last weeks and months of his life. And yeah, it's a great honor for me to be here. And I wanted to show you another piece of the Kreisleriana. He actually finished composing his Ghost Variations, the last piece for piano. He finished that here in this house. But I want to continue with the Kreisleriana. So we have already looked at the first two pieces. Now today I'm going to show you the third piece, Sehr aufgeregt. My name is Aaron Pilsan. I'm an international concert pianist and today I will show you Sehr aufgeregt from Schumann's Kreisleriana. The piece starts with a very, very spooky horse riding. It reminds us a little bit of the Reiterstück from the Album for the Jugend, a piece which he wrote for children. But this one is of course more elaborate and what is very special are these long basses, again where he wrote pedal, he wants them to be hold very long. And the whole thing actually gets really, really exciting here with some horns. Together with the right hand it sounds like this. Very, very crazy. And then after a first stop, yeah, he often uses the ABA form for these pieces after the A form ends. He writes an intermezzo B part, which is called Etwas Langsamer, where we feel his poetic side again. Again, look here, actually he changes the hands and everything is just like a dream. I often have the feeling that this first part ba -ba -da -da, is a harsh reality, you know. And then here he starts dreaming of something, some better world. And then we have these basses. And then the right hand gets in. So it's many voices and we never know which voice starts where and which voice stops where. So it's all very, very free. Also with those ornamentations. where he also writes Ritardando again. So it's this very, very free spirit, which we have already witnessed in the second piece, right? And here, he also writes all this no, da, 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 da. Later on, we get some very magic moment here in the G flat major part. This all is just a dream, right? And then we suddenly wake up with some accents, which remind us a little bit of the middle part of the first piece, right? You remember? And here it's like this. And then we start with the horse riding again. But this time there is really no mercy. As we end the A part, we enter into a coda which is noch schneller, even faster, which really goes wild. And then in the end, we really have both hands fighting with each other. until we end with a real disaster. So this is a really, really wild piece. So check that out 
on my new album on Alpha Classics, which you can find in the description below, but you also find the album on all streaming platforms on Apple, Spotify, Amazon Music and all the others, or you just buy and order the CD. Let me know what you think of this piece of Schumann. Write it into the comments. I'm looking forward to seeing you again in the next piece where we'll discuss the sehr langsam of the Kreislariana. And I just want to talk a little bit about this place because it's really, really so special to be here. Um, Schumann, actually, uh, the story of the Geister Variation, I will tell you later also in a, another video, but he was actually imagining the ghosts of Schubert and Mendelssohn singing this melody to him. which he had already composed in his violin concerto, but he was very, very ill with syphilis and also got some um, yeah, hallucinations from that. And then he started composing the piece and later tried to kill himself, jumping into the Rhine, very dramatic. And then he ended up here in this place. He actually told the doctors that he wanted to move here because he wanted to protect his family because he knew that he was very ill and going insane. So he ended up here in this place, which actually is a really nice area near Bonn. Today it's part of Bonn. And yeah, I will show you a little bit around. He was um, still composing. He was finishing this piece, but mainly he was just, um, yeah, unfortunately suffering a lot. And then he finally died here. So it's very special for me to be here being able to record this video and also talk about his music and actually today, the day I'm recording the video, it's his birthday and it's a great honor for me to play at the Schumann Festival in Bonn. So tonight I will play these variations, but I will also play the Carnival, one of his earliest pieces. And I'm really excited yeah, to be here in this historic place. Uh, the concert is just across the street at a place which has already existed in Schumann's time as well, as well as a yeah, restaurant here around the corner where he has also been to. Yeah, so I'm happy to be here and thank you so much for watching. Looking forward to seeing you again in the next video. Take care and goodbye.